Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is August 27th, 2019. This is my 12th episode about C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation. In this episode, we will learn about class feasible and color and brush in Windows Presentation Foundation. In our previous episode, we learned about dark panel dependency object and dependency property. If you haven't watched my previous video, please double click this link and watch this video. Also, if you want to learn more about c -sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation, then you can watch this series of videos. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2019, go to File, New, Project, Language, c -sharp, Platform, Windows, Project Type, Desktop, scroll down, select Empty Project.NET Framework, click Next. Project name will be Freezable. Solution name will be Freezable Solution. Click Create. Right click References, Add a Reference. Select Microsoft C Sharp Presentation Core Presentation Framework Scroll down System Scroll down System Windows Scroll down System XAML Scroll down Windows Base We need a system general file to track mouse point. Click OK. Right click Preserver. Add a new item. Code. Code file. Preserver. Click Add. Namespace. Talk play fun. End over. Namespace talk play fun class my window here using Windows system Windows using controls system Windows controls using math system math using media system windows media using static system console we will need another one using input system windows input here windows window end over class my window public my window this is constructor title preserver object system sda threat static void main bar app new windows application we create a new instance of application app run new my window now here I will define a brush media solid brush background brush. We define the brush and initialize media brushes. I will say aquamarine. Now here bar canvas 
new controls canvas we create an instance of canvas this contains canvas canvas background we use this background brush like this now control f5 so this is our application close it now let's try to change the color of this brush background brush color media color from rgb to 55 to 55 0 press ctrl f5 so it crashed it it says cannot set property on object because it is a read only state at line 24 so at line 24 we cannot modify the color of this brush now let's try it like this if background brush is frozen right line background brush is frozen cannot change its color else i will copy this text background brush is not frozen can change its color now press ctrl f5 the message says background brush is frozen cannot change its color now close it here dot clone i modified like this ctrl f5 now the color is changed to orangey background brush is not frozen can change its color i will close it if we right click and go to definition aquamarine is defined in brushes here solid color right click go to definition it is inherited from brush right click Go to definition, brush is inherited from animatable, right click, go to definition, animatable inherits from preserver, right click, go to definition, preserver has a property called is frozen. So we are calling from brush is frozen this member. This member is defined in the class preserver. Also, this preserver class defines event handler called change. Whenever the color of this brush is changed, then changed event is fired. When changed event is fired, the color of this brush is changed. This changed event fires then the canvas, in this case, will be redrawn or refreshed. Understanding this point is very important. Also, if we clone, then it is not frozen. Now try once again. It is not frozen. Background brush is not frozen. I close it. If I disable it, if I modify like this, Ctrl F5, now it is frozen. The background brush is frozen. Cannot change its color. Now close it. Now I will modify it to black and clone to make its brush color changeable. Then I will disable this part. Now Ctrl F5 once again. So the background brush is not frozen, can change its color. Now close it. Here, I will add a member function, protected. 
override void on mouse move. So this is event handler. Here, var canvas e source as controls canvas. We have to test canvas. If canvas is null, then we simply return. I will close this file. At this point, canvas is not null, so we can access properties of canvas like this. Bar canvas center point new windows point. Now we access the size of canvas like this. Canvas actual width. We divide with two canvas actual height. We divide by two like this. This is center point of canvas. Canvas center point. Now we can get diameter of this canvas like this. Double radius of canvas. Math square root canvas center point x like this plus I will copy this part based it I should modify it to y y I will wrap like this now we calculate the point of mouth bar mouse point e get position we have to pass canvas as argument like this now we calculate the distance between mouse point and the center of canvas like this bar from mouse to center mouse point minus canvas center point please note that this is the type of vector pay attention to this pop-up window this is windows vector the return value is windows vector double distance from mouse to center of canvas from mouse to center length now we do some math like this this is radius over distance from mouse to the center of canvas we divide like this then 1.0 minus then 1.0 we don't need parentheses here mass min then we times 255 now we cast it to byte then var rgb level so we set like this we calculate rgb level like this then background brush color media color from rgb rgb level rgb level rgb level now press ctrl f5 so if we move the mouse pointer if we move away from the center the color changes to black if we move the mouse pointer near to the center the color changes to white okay we can try like this 
So whenever we move, whenever we move mouse pointer, the background color is computed again. When the background color of brush is changed in solid color brush, right click, go to definition, brush, go to definition, animator, go to definition, preserver, go to definition. Whenever the color of background brush changes, then change the event is fired. Then the canvas is refreshed, redrawn. Understanding this mechanism is very important for Windows Presentation Foundation programming. I will close this file. And also note that here, this is mouse point. Mouse point is type point. And canvas center point, this is also point. When a point is subtracted from another point, the result is vector. Right click, go to definition, this is struct point, and the struct point defines operator. When a point is subtracted from another point, then the result is vector. I will talk more about this vector and vector operation in some future episode. I will upload complete source code to my website c -sharp -talk -play -fun com. By the time you watch this video, if you click this link, you can download complete source code. If you unzip the file, you can find the complete source code of this episode. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.